Welcome to a new video and this is a video, a special video that I'm recording with the Xperia uh, 1 Mark V and this one has HDR recording and finally I'm recording HDR. Usually I'm not recording HDR with this device because it's hard to cut as I'm using my phones most of the time to cut and edit my video. There was no real editing software for Android available that could handle HDR, HLG. But now it is, I think with the video creator app by Sony, it is possible to record um, HDR and then edit this in the video creator app. The video creator app allows me to automatically convert this BT 2020 into Rec 709 which is quite convenient because then I don't have to do this in post on my computer. So what do you think about the HDR HLG recording that I'm doing here right now with the Xperia 1 Mark V and the rear microphone. So no external microphone attached to it and yeah we can turn a little bit around so you see a little bit of the sun there in the background as well and yeah, I'm at Hittorfer See in Leverkusen right now. So what do you think? Very, very beautiful scenery here. Let me show you this one. And of course I have my dog as well here. So of course pulling again. But uh, yeah, here you can see the scenery. Nice uh, little lake here, Hittorfer Lake. And yeah, what do you think about this one here? And let's compare this maybe without the HDR HLG. And now stabilization is turned off and wide range is turned on with HDI HLG. What do you think with the sun in the background? How does this look like? Is it good? Is this not stabilized? So as soon as I start moving, you will see that it is a bit shaky here for sure. But maybe we can also in post somehow yeah, stabilize it. Maybe with Google Photos later on, we will see. So what do you think about the quality here with HDR and HLG and the wide range option turned on? I'm recording with SDR on the Photo Pro app, basic mode as well, rear microphone system. What do you think about the colors here? How does it handle dynamic range here? I have no wide range option turned on there because it will disable stabilization, which I really don't want to do. So what do you think about the wide range, uh, about the standard um, dynamic range version here of the video? Even when I turn around and you see again the sun in the background there, and all the people around there so is it like a little bit like a little bit like overexposed and then finally finding the exposure there what do you think about this in comparison to the sd uh, hdr version 